What's up guys, so today I am on the way to the studio to record my new single, Whole Nother Level. We are in the car. We'll see you guys there. Sometimes the end is really just the beginning, a pathway yet unknown, a chance to start anew and become who you really are, who you've always wanted to be. Today is my new beginning. Yo, what's good guys? We're here recording my new single whole another level today and I thought I'd bring you guys along. When I first got connected with Gavin, it was just amazing because I saw a kid with some swag. He came in here knowing what he was doing, but also he was willing to be groomed in the industry and didn't really question anything, but went in the studio and just had uber talent and knowing that he could go to the next direction too. And so it's just an anthology of, of events that led us to where we're at today. So it was almost like when we first met and came together, I saw where Gavin is at today. And you have to have that type of you know, viewership as well as that foresighted wisdom of knowing where an artist is gonna be because you can see where they're at now and you know where they're gonna go. And just having that vision and knowing Gavin and just him being willing to work along with the system and just working with him now is just a perfect storm and it's just, it's just the sky's the limit of what we're gonna do. Brian just pulled up. Uh, he's giving me my energy drink before we start. Get me, like, get, get me, get me some snacks too. Like, I don't care what it is, but just some, some really good snacks. I don't care. I'm really hungry. Look at him, the graceful swan. I've never seen a better specimen. I hate you. <laughs> I, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you both. I hate all of you. <laughs> What's up? I'm Andrew. So pretty much, Drew introduced me to Gavin about like three months ago, two, three months ago uh, in the studio. And I'm a songwriter and an artist myself. And pretty much, I saw Gavin's music. I listened to his music. I was like, dude, the kid has a lot of talent. And he kind of has like a similar style to my music. So I was just like, honestly, we, I think we should work together. And I started helping them up with the song Hearts on a Pen. And we, we kind of got along pretty well because we have like a really, really similar like style of music. Gavin has been a pleasure to work with. Usually, Ander and I, a songwriting partner, we go in with the artist and it takes them like, like five takes, 10 takes, 20 takes to get it. You know, Gavin's over here. We give him crazy bars. Now these are these are like you know regular degular bars right here. These are crazy, crazy bars, crazy cadences. Gavin just like oh nothing. I'm on a hold. It's just going. You know he's brilliant, top level performer, artist, recording artist. Just he's a beast. You know what I'm saying? You can see the genius right here, plugging away. It is what it is. This is a regular day of life for him. I'm blessed to be a part of the experience. So, thank you. No mints. Can't function now. I need more mints. Wow. Oh my god. Trash cam. Who likes grape? I've never met someone that likes grape. I love, I love grape. grape. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What's you that? like the hair? It says new luck. Is this I like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, but I should bun it. I should bun it. 
Yeah, I don't want a ponytail. Look, you guys are matching. You and Ander are matching. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Drew's on the mic. <laughs> Drew's at the mic. How about now? One, two, check. Check, check. That's it. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Don't play games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the trolling child. Feel like Timba. Is it Simba or Timba? Timba. Who's Timba? Wait, is this Simba or Timba? Yeah, what's ti who's Timba? Wait, I thought it was Simba. I'm the Wait. chosen child for like Simba. Right? Yeah, Simba. Yeah. Oh, right. I was like, I was like, who the hell is Timba? <laughs> Hey, can we go from the pad? Yeah, that part. I'm in God's place, so I left the pad in the pad. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break real quick. What's up? Ah, uh, it's just like. Um, I'm just not feeling it. Like I can, like I know I can do better. It's just, but yeah. It's, so I just really want to get this right. Gavin's been singing pretty much since he's been a little kid. Um, probably the first time I realized that he wanted to. Be in the entertainment business was when he was like five years old. He put on a purple hat, put it backwards, bought a bunch of chains. We went shopping and got on top of the table and started singing Baby. And um, I, his dad walked in and was like, get him off the table. And I'm like, he's trying to be a singer. So I thought it was really cute, of course, as a mom. And the story kind of goes like this. We went to uh, Chick-fil-A and he starts crying. And I'm like, what's wrong? And he goes, I want to be a singer. Like, I want to be the next Justin Bieber. And I'm like, well, and of course, at first I'm like, but you've never sang, like, except for that one time, like, on the table or whatever. And he's like, Mom, I want to be a singer. And, like, you could see, like, the passion that, like, was within his face. And, of course, he cried. And he's like, you don't believe in me. And, like, yes, I do. So I literally made sure he had the best of the best of everything. And um, I think it's really important, like, as a parent to understand what your kid wants to do. And, and kind of, if you don't have that backing and you don't have your you know, your mom or your dad that's helping you get and achieve that dream, it's really hard to do it. So his dad and I decided that we would put everything into his career and um, we did and you know, and then we met Drew, we met Andrew Lane and it was kind of funny because, um, you know, again, like Gavin had never done anything. He's like, hey, let's write a song. So we went to the studio, it was just this little 10 year old little boy and, um, and Andrew believed in him. He's like, he's got something, he's got the factor. I'm like, okay. Saint Crescent, and his very first song went viral, and now he's 13, almost 14, and he's kind of, he's always wanted to be really, like, singer-rapper, like, kind of do both, and now he's kind of evolving into, I'm kind of giving him the okay, like, thumbs up that he can do some of the rap stuff, and I think he's really excited about that. And I'm really excited about his future, so, yeah, it's really cool to watch him evolve and, like, just become who he is, and, you know, there's really, really good times, and there's a lot of frustrating times, but all in all, like, I think he's just got what it takes, you know? I'm so tired. It's been a long day. We're almost done. Ah. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah. Of course, is, uh, this is a decision. We could do it where uh, Anders is barely under you for a support, or you want to be by yourself. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll let you both ways. Got a bad little shorty, she rushing. No disguise on my body, concussion. She got love for these diamonds, she blushing. Two tall and really is busting. Got a bad little shorty, she rushing. No discussion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like a little extra tone underneath there. It sounds sick too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's so sick. The second okay. person. That's what you do with post and all that. Yeah. With him laying over me, it just adds like a, a cool effect. Cool. I like that. You got the Anders effect. Yeah. Anders. Effect. Anders. Yeah, he's gonna be a plug-in. The, the, the vocal <laughs> plug-in effect. Anders. on my body concussion. She got love for these diamonds. She blushing. Two tone on the bully is busting. Alright, 
right, guys, that's a wrap on whole another level. Guys, we just finished it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, can't wait for you guys to hear it soon. She breaking hearts, leaving hearts on the planet. Suicide doors, laying bow and I ain't running. Left me in the dark, still winning. I pray for you, yet yeah, you're still sinning. Also guys, Spotify, we're releasing a lot of music right now, so everybody, go check out my Spotify, become a monthly listener, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much, we've got a ton of songs on there, and uh, we hope you enjoy.